To mark Emancipation Day, the Canadian Caribbean Association of Halton and the Oakville Chamber of Commerce officially opened a new CCAH Community and Harmony Garden. So this community garden is one that uh, we came up with a concept maybe two years ago and uh, it is a garden where people can grow vegetables, grow flowers um, and they should be able to do that on land that they don't have to pay for. So we give them all of the supplies, we give them the plot, we have the Halton Environmental Network that is here and gives them the garden expertise. We work with the town of Oakville and their, um, and their community garden specialists in order to make sure that all of the, the plots that we give them, but also the, the, the vegetables that we give them are hardy and fresh. And um, this is a project that is not only for those people who are doing the garden and growing the flowers and the vegetables, but they're also for people who are just here, residents of the community, and they can walk around and the, um, the garden is a point of uh, reflection and uh, a point where they can bring their families and see the garden. Located behind the Queen Elizabeth Park Community and Cultural Centre, the gardens have been dedicated to longtime CCAH President Veronica Terrell and the CCAH founder Isilda Bailey. They were about eradicating racism, they were about inclusion, and they were about diversity, equity and inclusion. And CCH started 46 years ago, so they had those concepts in mind even though they didn't really uh, able to, 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 to put a name on it. DEI as well as having a sense of belonging was what they really envisioned for the Canadian Caribbean Association of Halton. So we're proud that today on Emancipation Day we can unveil this lovely community garden and dedicate it in their names. Emancipation Day marks the abolition of slavery in Canada. You may visit the gardens at any time to reflect and you're invited to join the CCAH for their Emancipation Day picnic this Saturday, August 5th. It's taking place at Oakville Museum's Urkless Estate where there will be food and entertainment for both adults and children alike. For Halton News, I'm Jessica Kading.